Hi, this is Bruce Walsh at the University of Arizona. And this is Guilherme Rosa from the University of Wisconsin. We're your two instructors for module nine on quantitative genetics. Now, quantitative genetics is the study of variation. And so one of the things it asks is, what's the underpinning of trait variation? The classic nature versus nurture. What fraction of phenotypic variation is due to individuals having different genes versus having experienced different environments? It also addresses fundamental questions like, what's the resemblance between relatives? How much of your trait value is passed on to your offspring? This directly relates to things such as disease risk. For example, if a relative has a disease, does that increase or decrease your chances of getting it? It also talks about things such as localizing the genes underlying complex traits. And we'll talk a fair bit about how we use marker and other genomic data to find genes of small effect that cumulatively can have a very large effect. A good example of that is height. The common variance for height in humans add maybe at most about a quarter of an inch, but if you contained all the plus alleles in you that are found in nature, you'd be 15 feet tall. So there's a huge amount of variation that's out there. We'll talk about how we can try to isolate that and find that. We'll talk about things such as the response to selection. Here's what we've done in the poultry industry over 50 years of breeding, and it's really quite dramatic. We'll talk about how you can predict that. We'll talk about estimating quantitative genetic parameters. Here are the famous Henderson mixed model equations we'll talk about. We'll talk about things such as ANOVA and other methods. And in particular, we'll talk about how we most effectively use phenotypic relationship and marker data to estimate parameters you need to do things such as predict disease risk, predict response to selection, and look at changes under inbreeding. So in particular, the topics we're going to cover have been in detail are Fisher's variance decomposition, resemblance between relatives, the notion of heritability, artificial selection, inbreeding and crossbreeding, correlated characters, estimation of genetic parameters, mixed model and blood breeding value estimates, and QTL and association mapping for finding genes. Now, in closing about your instructors, I'm Bruce Walsh. I'm a biologist that has a broad interest in genetics. Um, I've co-authored two of the standard textbooks in the field on quantitative genetics, and I've taught in about 25 different countries. And I'm Guilherme Rosa. I'll be a co-instructor in this course. I'm, I work mostly in animal science with livestock, but I have also interest in, in hum with human research. And, and, and plants and crop breeding as well. So we'll be using, discussing examples across uh, humans, uh, livestock species, crop, and, and, and some natural populations as well. Jeremy and I have taught this course for a number of years and taught a number of other courses. And uh, we really have fun teaching and we hope to convey both some of our knowledge base and some of that fun to you. So we welcome you to apply for this module and also think about our other module on mixed models and quantitative genetics, which is kind of the next logical course in the sequence. So we look forward to your application. Hope to see you there. It's gonna be a fun course.